We're not going to talk about what happened. We're moving forward. It's what many see as a bewildering response to a valid question. In the wake of Kyle Beach's sexual assault allegations and cover up accusations, how are the Blackhawks working to prevent sexual assault and empower players to come forward? Owner Rocky Wirtz answered like this at a town hall Wednesday. That's none of your business. What we're going to do today is our business. I don't think it's any of your business. We're not going to talk about Kyle Beach. We're not going to talk about anything that happened. Now we're moving on. What more do I have to say? That response just shocking to those who say they have survived sexual abuse at the hands of a hockey coach. It was pretty staggering. Kelly G is the executive director of Survivors for Change, a nonprofit he started to help male survivors of sexual abuse. G says he was sexually assaulted by a youth hockey coach when he played in Illinois. First thing that went through my mind is, uh, was Kyle, you know, and this is a young man that's just starting his journey of healing. You know, he was brave enough and strong enough to do something that's harder than you could possibly imagine and, and owning his truth and bringing that forward. He says Wirtz talked about Beach's pain like it was old business. It's not an appropriate response to a very dark chapter in your franchise's history. ESPN 1000 host Carmen DeFalco similarly yeah, baffled at the response. Yeah, you don't want to go in back in the past, fine, but tell us now why things are different. Um, it's not 2010, I get it. It's 2022, but it's time for you to talk about the lessons you've learned. Rocky Wirtz releasing a statement saying in part, quote, I want to apologize to the fans and those reporters, and I regret that my response overshadowed the great work this organization is doing to move forward. Aside from that short statement released by Rocky Wirtz yesterday, the Blackhawks have not answered repeated requests for an interview or additional comment. At the United Center, Mark Rivera, ABC7 Eyewitness News.